One, there are four types of introverts, social, thinking, anxious, and restrained. Social introversion is what's commonly accepted and understood as the stereotypical definition of introversion. Social introverts prefer solitude or small groups of people over large gatherings. They'd rather stay home with a book or laptop or hang out with close friends than go to parties with many unfamiliar faces. Social introversion is different, however, from shyness, because there's no anxiety attached to their need for solitude. Thinking introversion is a newer concept. Thinking introverts are introspective, thoughtful, and self-reflective. Unlike social introverts, they don't feel a need to avoid large social scenes. Instead, they like to daydream, using their rich imaginations and creative capacities. Anxious introverts, on the other hand, seek time alone, because they feel awkward and self-conscious. Unlike social introverts, they experience painful shyness around new people, and the anxiety doesn't necessarily go away when they're alone, because they let situations play over and over in their heads, contemplating what might have gone wrong. Lastly, restrained introverts function on a slower pace and prefer to think before they speak or act. They're also known for being reserved. They like to take their time, preventing impulse from affecting their decision-making. 2. Introverts react quickly to new information, but are slow to monitor change. Introverts' brains become more excited when they analyze what steps they must take in the future, but hesitate when they need to prepare for action, whereas extroverts need to minimize the thoughts in their heads to make a decision, but act quickly afterwards. 3. Introverts dread small talk. Introverts might seem disinterested in other people because they dislike small talk, However, they only dislike it because it creates barriers between them and others. Instead, introverts want to feel authentically connected, so they crave deep, meaningful conversations that help lower social walls. 4. Introverts need alone time. This is because introverts respond differently to rewards, such as food, money, sex, and social status, than extroverts do. Although they do care about eating, income, and relationships, they're less driven about and experience less enthusiasm for the possibilities of them. Extroverts, in contrast, are more excited to work for those rewards, which is why they're so prone to instant gratification more often than introverts. 5. Introverts are more careful and calculated about what risks to take. This is due to a difference in dopamine activity between introverts' and extroverts' brains. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter associated with sensation-seeking, risks, and new adventures. Both introverts and extroverts have the same amount of it, but introverts' brains are less active in the region that generates dopamine. 6. Introverts are deep thinkers. Since introverts use less activity from dopamine, they rely more on a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine. Like dopamine, it's linked to pleasure, but the pleasure is produced from turning inwards. This allows introverts to reflect deeply and stay focused on a single task for an extended period of time. Acetylcholine also influences them to prefer calm, quiet settings over loud, crowded places. 7. Introverts are more creative. Introverts need solitude to recharge, but it's also within solitude where they find creativity. Most artists and writers who identify as introverts produce their best work when they're by themselves as opposed to in group settings. Additionally, people in general feel less self-conscious when they're alone, so being in solitude helps introverts feel safe to take risks that allow their creative juices to flow. 8. Introverts like the rain. Rain creates white noise that attracts introverts because it signals opportunities for solitude. They find the calming effect pleasurable since it allows them to escape within themselves for the time being. Rain helps lower expectations for the day as well, and isn't as overstimulating as the sun. 9. Pretending to be extroverted can have a negative effect on an introvert's performance. The time introverts spend on pretending to be people they're not disrupts their usual level of performance. It's important to realize and acknowledge this, since the world is so used to trying to mold introverts and extroverts. 10. Introverts might not prioritize happiness. Although we live in a culture that emphasizes happiness, introverts actually prefer to maintain a neutral emotional state when presented with tasks, such as taking a test, giving a speech, or thinking rationally. This is because happiness, an arousing emotion, may distract them from completing their tasks efficiently. Extroverts, on the other hand, prefer happiness because it acts as a motivator. 
Are you an introvert? If so, do you find any of these facts relevant? Feel free to share in the comments below.